Mission on Christ Mace R D. Well today we have a Mitsubishi Hig gasket on our mill. And what we're gonna be doing, this is actually a used gasket uh, to start this with, but we're gonna be opening up the head bolt holes on this because we're gonna be installing 12 millimeter head bolts. Uh, this engine is gonna be seeing something like nearly hundred pounds of boost, so we need to do something to be able to hold the head down. Anyway, to do this job, you're going to need a reamer and you're going to need to make up some sort of a fixture to uh, hold the gasket. And the reason that we need this is we need to clamp the gasket firmly between these two pieces of metal. If you take a reamer and try and ream this without, let's say you just bring it down like this and try and ream the thing through, you're going to wind up tearing out the gasket material. and so when you go to compress the gasket, it's going to be awfully thick. Uh, we tried to do that on one of these holes uh, just as a sample to show you for this video. And as you can see in the insert, um, it's, uh, it left a little bit of a lip up here, and that's not good. So we're going to show you how this is done. The, the fixture is real simple. It's just a couple pieces of aluminum with a hole that's been reamed with our reamer. And uh, now all we have to do is open this up, take our gasket, and set it in here, and get the gasket lined up with the, uh, the, the bolt holes, and then we just ream it out. I'm going to show you how that's done. As you probably know, there's uh, two gaskets for the Mitsubishi. There's a three-layer gasket, and then there's a five-layer gasket. And we're going to be taking this five layer gasket and opening up the holes on it. And to do that we need to open up our jig. When you uh, tighten this down, it doesn't need to be tight, tight, because if you do, you're going to smash the uh, ridges in the gasket. You want to align the hole in your hole here with the gasket, and just snug this down a bit. As you can see, this isn't or tight. We slide this over. And there we have it. Now all we need to do is move this around and go to our other holes to finish this job up. Uh, if you're going to be installing larger studs on your engine, you're going to have to open up your head gasket. And this is just one of the little tricks that we use here at Coast Mace R&D to do this with. And I thought I'd share the, the information with you because uh, I know a lot of you guys do this, try and do this stuff at home. And if you have the tools, I'm happy for you. But if you don't have the tools, uh, give us a call here at Coast Mace R&D. We'll see you soon. Just one more thing here, uh, for you guys that are having troubles uh, getting this hole centered up, you can build a pin like this, it has a tapered end, drop it down in here, slide the gasket around until the pin doesn't go any farther, and then tighten this down. And this will help you align the hole perfectly to the jig. If 
you haven't done this, it takes a little bit of practice to get them centered up. And that's how you drill your hole. Actually, ream it. You don't want to use a drill bit in here because a drill bit is way too aggressive. You need uh, like six or eight uh, cutting points on this gasket to cut it correctly. Anyway, John Edwards, Coast Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon again.